Hello everyone! Welcome to my channel. As usual, Caterpillar Jun Hank at your service. Ah, for everyone or uh, for our, uh, anybody, uh, everyone information regarding about the installation of the Caterpillar machine. Okay, Caterpillar, Caterpillar machine, sorry. It is uh, like a uh, excavator. There is a model of a Caterpillar machine that using uh, accelerator motor or separate motor to keep uh, accelerate the engine. So meaning this engine is the same as a manual acceleration. What I mean, uh, manual is using pedal or it's either handle or a lever by accelerating the engine. But this machine is a 320D. D2L. So this machine is using a motor. Now, why I'm uh, making this video? I would like to learn everyone. If you don't, uh, anyone who don't understand regarding about the installation. By installation of this motor, okay, you should have to understand. After the installation, you need to calibrate. Okay. Just keep on watching and then we will show you on this type of motor and uh, what type and what kind of motor that we have that I'm going to install. Okay, just follow me in this video and uh, you will learn on how to calibrate and about the installation. Maybe uh, everyone who knows to install, install the motor and the cable. But about the calibration, you should have to do that after the installation of the motor okay so just keep on watching we will show you what to do okay okay uh this is uh, we are here now at the actual uh, figure of the motor what i'm saying in the, uh, this video this is the wiring that we have or uh, the socket that you are going to connect on the harness okay this is the cable okay as we can see this is the actual cable of this motor so this motor it is not only just a motor inside and also they have an electronic device just to connect on the monitoring or ECM of the machine is inside okay that inside that control must be connected to the ECM controller. So, how you do that, you should have to calibrate. Okay, sometimes uh, if you install uh, the original parts, it is, because this parts is a uh, duplicate from the other supplier. Okay, so if you install the original parts, when you switch off and then switch on, start, automatically functioning, the motor will automatically function. But sometimes there is a uh, different uh, supplier or different uh, manufacturer. So you should have to calibrate to keep the communication between the okay the ECM and this motor okay will be uh, synchronized. Okay, this is the motor where the place this motor is installed. Okay. Now we will show you after the installation, okay, on how to calibrate or to make the exact synchronization, okay, of this motor to the ECM. So uh, after the synchronization, so will uh, fully activated and normal function of this motor. Okay, so uh, wait a few seconds. Keep on watching. Uh, I'm just only uh, going to fix this motor on the bracket. Okay, this is the bracket. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That position. That position. Okay. So you can see. Oh. <laughs> what happened to 
may uh, ratchet it's only one hand okay we should have to tie it normal tight okay and we have there at the top because you know what if you can see the harness this is from the main harness okay it is only three wire if you imagine it three wire one one negative one positive and one data okay sorry this is a uh, data and then negative and positive negative and positive okay this is the data only three wire from the main harness if you can see this is the main harness okay but the wire that came from the motor how many wires we have is almost uh, uh one two three four five six seven six seven wires that we have so if you might imagine how this stream wire can be function this motor okay so that's why you need to do the synchronization between the ECM and this motor so that's what I'm uh, going to share to everyone not just only installed and then after that finish you have to synchronize okay so it's already installed we're going to uh, 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 the other engine uh, B area so I already put the cable this is the situation so but uh, still the adjuster is loose okay by install installation of this uh, motor you don't need to fix directly as a permanent so you have to keep synchronize it first or uh, calibrate through the ECM okay and the uh, memory of this motor or control okay so we were going to tight the lock of the motor okay to the accelerator uh, lever so you have to make it sure that uh, this lever and cable will be tight and uh, you will tie it after this cable wh while the synchronization will be already done okay now the next step that uh, i need to do is just to calibrate as we can see the monitor or uh, the power of the machine is still in a uh, off position so i'm going to switch on okay So sometimes some uh, parts, if you get it from the original, uh, from Caterpillar, so you don't need to calibrate. But uh, the procedure must be needed to calibrate even the, uh, you feel the synchronization of the motor uh, between the ECM is uh, working. You need to calibrate to make it sure that the motor will be uh, synchronized well. Okay, this is the process. You should have to open the service menu. Service menu. Uh, triple F. Huh? Service menu. Okay. So this is the way. Okay. And triple F. One, two, three. And then two. Now we are ready here on the service menu. The next step is choose the calibration calibration this process before you starting the engine okay just only switch on okay switch on and do this process to keep the calibration will be successfully okay now uh, calibration and then choose the engine speed okay engine speed okay press okay that's it 
and then okay again the next procedure will be put the uh, accelerator control in full acceleration as uh, the monitor told set high idle okay and then start so the engine is running if you can hear that the engine is running now and then you will have to continue the calibration just only press ok now just wait a few seconds or minute do not touch any attachment of this machine inside the cabin until the calib calibration will be finished okay see it is moving to proceed the calibration and then from high idle the engine was a uh, high idle and then it's going low lower idle slowly just to read the exact position of the acceleration based on the setup of the ECM okay they are uh, they going to synchronize the accelerator motor to the ECM wait a few minutes until this calibration was shown on the monitor was uh, is a success as we can see the dial uh, accelerator dial is number 10 set to high idle see the engine sound is changed it seems like uh, accelerating okay It is accelerating uh, alone. I never touch anything inside the cabin. Okay, as we can see, accelerate uh, the engine speed was uh, succeeded. Okay, if you uh, sometimes uh, after the installation you go directly accelerating like that, you cannot control because it's, it is not synchronized at the time. But now it's already controlled so we will going to proceed and check the RPM okay now we'll go back to the monitoring okay in here just uh, keep the look at on the gauge performance so the normal RPM on idle, okay, on idle is around 1,000, but it is uh, lower than 1,000. Normally it's only 1,000. You know how? Let me show you the normal idle. Based on the setting of this machine configuration and then you go to the parameter okay and then engine speed check the engine speed so the first dial or number one it must be 1000 and the last or so the full acceleration must be on 1800 okay 1800 you can adjust that if you want can adjust depend on you on higher like for example you want more higher uh, 1850 you can adjust it that will uh, done on the configuration so I set it to 150 850 and then press ok so that is already configured 1850 and uh, idle also so uh, I, uh, I will not be changed the uh, idle because uh, that must be needed when the machine is uh, running that must be needed some operator they should have to start the engine and then let the engine in idle position to keep heating 
Okay, it is in 1,000. You can reduce that if you want. Okay, that's it. I hope in this video, so anyone can uh, follow and uh, listen and understand about the procedure on how did you install the accelerator motor, mod, uh, motor in this type of excavator or this model of the excavator. Okay, this is the final uh, stage of uh, so I keep the cable a little bit uh, uh, pull the cable at this side to keep the uh, you see this uh, accelerator uh, lever of the pump little bit high because on the monitoring the acceleration idle it was uh, 900 something only so we need 1000 even a little bit up in 1000 it's uh, okay as you can see I'm going to tight to make it sure that the installation will be not going to be damaged So, and also this side, I need to tie it a little, number 13, let's find out. Okay, that's it. So, again, here's the engine.